Listen, it's it's been an unbelievable experience to to play with him. He's obviously one of one of my idols and uh, someone I've always looked up to. So to have the opportunity to to play with him is is unbelievable, and um, you know I'll I'll take that with me, and it's something that I can I can keep with me forever. Um, so yeah, I wish him wish him all the best. Um, you know, we obviously want to want to thank him for the things that he's done for for Manchester United. Um, and yeah, wish him all the best in the rest of his career. I just think the obviously I was only there for a sh short period of time before, but the the standard of training wasn't as high. Um, you know, it's for for players it's black and white. If you're not if you're not training well, you can't expect to play well. You can't expect to go into games and and just win just because you you think that you're better players than the other team. So, you know, you have to you have to put the work in and earn the right to to win football matches. And um, you know, for me, it's it's. It's two different sides of a coin, and it's as simple as that. How is Harry Kane? Does he seem okay in training? Yeah, he's all right. He's you know he's happy. He's he's um, enjoying his football. But of course, for for any forward, you want to be scoring goals. Um, so yeah, I'm sure if he if he keeps doing what he's doing, he'll he'll score some goals. Listen, it's it's not a nice feeling. Um, but to be honest, we don't need fans to boo us to for us to know that we've not played as well as we could have. Um, you know, I feel like it's a feeling that that was mutual amongst a group that we could have done better.